Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. So today is a very important milestone in my lock journey. It's my one month anniversary. So I locked my hair on December 2nd and today it's officially January. Technically it's the third, but I didn't record yesterday. So it's my one month, one month lock anniversary. So my locks look a little different than they looked in my last video and it's because when I showered today I um, rinsed my hair with some water. My scalp was just really just dirty feeling. I get dandruff really easily and I've been struggling to keep my hair moisturized. I've been using a variety of oils. I bought some um, rose water but earlier today my scalp was just feeling so dirty so I didn't want to wash my hair and risk making my locks looser or messing them up so when I was in the shower today I just rinsed my hair and just it really helped um, loosen up my scalp and just made my scalp feel a little bit cleaner and then my hair shrunk up so it's kind of giving me like Anthony Anderson and barbershop vibes but as you can see my locks are still here they're a lot more shrunken um, they're a little thicker yeah the texture is getting there they're starting to look a little bit more locked but I don't mind it. Like I said, the more I can make them look locked, the happier I am. Um, so yeah, I wet my hair today. What's up guys? So yesterday when I was recording this video, my hair was still a little bit damp. So it's the next day and my hair has dried completely. And as you can see, my texture has really changed. It's a lot more um, shrunken, but my locks are a lot more fluffy. So I just wanted to show you guys what my hair was looking like once it completely dried. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like after it dried. Um, it took a few hours to dry, but yeah. Moral of the story is, wet your hair. All right, back to the video. My hair has been changing over the past month. When I first got my starter locks, they were thinner, they were shiny, they were really limp, they didn't really move much. Um, movement is a big part of it. So now like if I shake my hair, you could see like my locks moving. But before, like when I first got my starter, lock, starter locks, I would shake my hair and it would just be stiff on my head, but it doesn't do that anymore so that's exciting the biggest difference from day one to now is the thickness of my locks when i first got my locks they were really thin they were really skinny they looked shiny they look like little worms actually but now they're actually starting to thicken up and look like locks i'm noticing i first started noticing the thickness towards the roots and it looks like it's starting to expand down the lock so like you can see here, it's kind of fat towards the root and it's starting to widen up. And I'm noticing that a lot in a lot of the locks in the middle. The back, like towards the back and the bottom of my hair, they're still a bit more skinny. Um, yeah, they're still a bit, towards the back and the bottom, they're still a bit more skinny. Um, I do think that they are locking though because when I first got my starter locks, I was able to pull them and it was kind of like a spring curl, but now it's pretty stiff. Like it doesn't pull like it used to, it feels tighter. And so I'm hoping that that means that my hair is locking because I really want my hair to lock. That's my biggest concern right now is just getting my hair to lock. What I've been putting in my locks over the past month. So like I said, I've been putting in oils. Um, I bought this oil, it's the main choice uh, growth oil if my hair grows with this cool but I'm more so concerned with moisturizing my scalp because like I said I get dandruff really easily 
So yeah, I've been using this oil. After I get my hair retwisted, I'm thinking about going out and getting some peppermint oil. Someone left that in the comments of my last video, but I'm really looking into something different to moisturize my scalp. This oil is cool. I don't have anything um, bad to say about it, but when I put this on my scalp and then tie my scarf down, in the morning I wake up and my locks themselves just feel oily. Like I could squeeze one and then it'll be oil in my fingertips. And I just don't like that. I really just wanna focus on getting my scalp moisturized versus having my locks soak up all that extra oil. Another thing that I've been using is this rose water and glycerin. I saw someone else post this in a video and they were saying that it helped like refresh their locks and moisturize their scalp. So I've been using this. I hadn't washed my hair since I used this product and then put this product on top of it. So when I used the rose water, I noticed that my locks were feeling sticky. And so I'm thinking it may be the rose water in combination with the oil giving it that feeling. So I'm gonna hold off on putting anything else on my hair until after I get my next retwist and get it washed and all that and then I'll try a new method. My six week retwist, I'm really excited about it. Um, mainly because I really wanna get a good wash. Um, I'm not used to going this long without washing my hair. I'm generally, when I, my hair is out and loose, I will wash my hair once a week or at most once every two weeks. But as of Saturday, it'll be three weeks since the last time I washed my hair and I've really been going crazy. So I'm excited to get my hair washed and retwisted. I wanna see how different it looks. I wanna see my parts again. So yeah, I'm just really excited about that. I really just been loving my lock journey. Like I said, I haven't had like the hair anxiety that some people say they have when they um, have starter locks. Um, going home for the holidays was a bit hard this year just because I haven't seen my family in so long. So, you know, you show up and they're like, what are you doing with your hair? What's, what's, what's this? But I think that as they, well, as they get more locked and they start to look like locks, I won't be getting that anymore. Just because like when you have starter locks sometimes, people don't really know what they are. <laughs> they kind of look like little worms and not really like locks. So unless you like know that they're starter locks, a lot of people don't really know what they are. And then I would have to tell them like, yes, I'm locking my hair. Hopefully once they start to lock up, I don't have to go into that whole spiel every time someone asks me what's going on with my hair. But that's it guys, I just wanted to update you guys on my one month lock anniversary. After I left the salon that day, I did not think that I would be here a month later still with locks, but they've quickly grown on me. I'm excited to see how my hair grows and changes. And yeah, if you guys, I've been getting a lot of feedback from my last video, so um, hopefully people found these videos helpful. Um, when I was looking on YouTube, I couldn't really find many people with a hair texture of my, like mine or just the length like mine. So I hope that people with similar hair types and just similar in similar spots in their like lock journey um, enjoy my videos. And if you have any comments or questions or just topics that you want me to cover, just um, jump in the comments and let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.